Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today I will be reviewing Harbinger Coffee out of Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm nearby their location on Harmony Road, and I'm going to be trying their washed Mexico Santa Maria Yukuhiti. Let me go ahead and take a sip. And I have been uh, kind of sipping on their coffee a little bit, again, um, trying to get an idea. I've been doing this a lot with these places in Colorado, kind of between stops to get a better grasp of the coffee overall as a whole. Let me go ahead and talk about Harbinger because this is uh, kind of important for me. Harbinger, the owner, Jonathan specifically, has been a very influential person in my coffee development. Uh, back when I was still living in Colorado, I used to go to a lot of his cuppings at his original location where I would try blind coffees without knowing anything. There was stuff roasted by uh, like local roasters, and then there was Sweet Bloom, a lot of Wisconsin roasters, Ruby, Kickapoo. And I learned so much from him, especially when it comes to underdevelopment of coffee and uh, stuff that wasn't done right. So I don't know if Jonathan remembers me. If he does, then that's great. But um, a very important person in my uh, personal coffee development, developing my palate. Now, as mentioned, two shops. The other one opened up, the one on Harmony Road opened up more recently. Uh, the original location used to serve Sweet Bloom and then a guest roaster, and they recently started roasting their own. And if there's one coffee roaster in Colorado that I'm happy that they decided to start roasting their own, it's Harbinger. I'm trying not to be biased in this review, especially considering it's a Mexico and it's uh, somebody that is kind of important to my coffee development. But it's the reality is I think that he's he's way more knowledgeable than I am about coffee and I give him huge credit for what he's done with his business and I'm always really excited to come up here and try his coffees. So this shop, um, this was their drip option. Uh, it was actually the coffee I was going to go with off the barista suggestion anyway. I think they had five pour over options and this was her top suggestion. They just happened to have it on drip as well. So uh, let me go ahead and I guess we'll talk about this coffee a little more. I could talk about Harbinger a lot more. There's uh, so much to it. It's a, they're beautiful shops. They're very elegant. Um, I'm definitely going to put the coffee roaster as a highly recommend. Best in Fort Collins, probably just underneath uh, Sweet Bloom for best in Colorado. I mean, they're right up there. I, I would say them, Huckleberry, uh, Corvus, um, they're, they're probably just underneath Sweet Bloom for you know, fighting over the second best coffee roaster in the city, or area, I guess, state. And this coffee, for me, is a huge hit. Um, it's It's got a nice, like, caramelized nut taste to it, which I get more from better done Colombia's than I would expect from Mexico's. I like this, this is probably one of my favorite Mexico's I've ever had. It doesn't, Mexico's tend to kind of struggle with getting great development and even roast but this right here is so well done evenly that there's no there's not even a slight hint of roastiness to it and there's not an overly acidic tone to it at all which doesn't surprise me given how much I've learned from Jonathan I know that he can do a good job of navigating the like perfect level of roast and I think this is probably one of the most like perfect levels of roast I think I've experienced in a cup of coffee in my opinion, anyway. It's a it's a true delight. It's a true gem. I'm going to throw this one right here. This is this is a highly recommend, even for people that may like your fruitier coffees. This is something worth having on the shelf as an alternative because it's so nicely crafted and so nicely done that it's special in its own right. And... Harbinger as a whole, it's worth checking out. I'm not sure how much uh, notoriety they've received out of Fort Collins yet, outside of Fort Collins yet, but they are probably a very underrated and like underappreciated coffee roaster since I've never seen them outside of Fort Collins myself. And again, trying not to be biased, trying to tell it, this one how it is. Um, I haven't spoken to Jonathan in years, and I haven't even been to the Harbinger in years, but this was a complete and utter knockout for me. They did a spectacular job. This right here has been a review of Harbinger Coffee out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Thank you for watching.